Close check out the top moments that helped define the outcomes of Sunday's NFL matchups. USA Today Sports Seattle, when the Las Vegas sportsbooks made the Philadelphia Eagles a six-point favorite heading into Sunday's game at Seattle, the odds makers might have overlooked the history of December. This is Russell Wilson's month, and once again the Seahawks quarterback proved it in a 2,410 upset win. It was a statement on a national stage, and one Seattle player's hope can launch yet another playoff push. I contemplated in my head whether I wanted to say it out loud, whether I wanted to jinx it, but I do. I believe that this is the start of something that we've seen in the past, receiver Doug Baldwin said. We're looking forward to capturing what we have tonight and using this to make a run. Baldwin relayed the same message directly to Wilson privately after the game, but the quarterback likely doesn't need the reminder. Wilson knows how much December games matter, and his performance Sunday night in a head-to-head -head matchup with Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz may have altered the MVP race heading into the final month of the season. It wasn't that Wentz, who looked like the frontrunner for the award through 12 weeks, was bad against the Seahawks. He threw for 328 yards, with one touchdown, one interception and one red zone fumble. He just wasn't nearly as special as Wilson. Wilson threw for 227 yards against the Eagles, and his three touchdown passes Sunday night boosted his career December resume to 46 touchdowns with just 15 interceptions since 2012. The Seahawks improved to 185 in December games during Wilson's tenure. You always want to have this constant progression, Wilson said. The key is, can we get better fundamentally? Can we get better as a team? Can get better with our chemistry? Dot, dot, dot. We've done that for five or six straight years, and we've continued to work that way and have that mentality. We're in the right spot. The win kept the Seahawks 84 within one game of the Los Angeles Rams 93 in the NFC West, with a critical division game against the Rams in Seattle in two weeks. Seattle also now holds the first of two NFC wildcard spots. With the loss, the 102 Eagles remain in control of the NFC East, but they to the no. Two seed in the NFC behind the Vikings, who beat the Falcons earlier on Sunday. Seahawks players knew the Vegas line and felt disrespected. The six-point spread for the Eagles was the largest a visiting team has been favored in Seattle by since 2011, before the arrival of Wilson and the birth of the Legion of Boom secondary. Offensive players said they had heard Eagles defensive coordinator Jim Schwartz wanted to play cover zero and allow blitz that leaves defensive backs in single coverage without help against their receivers. Defensive players believed they were being dismissed after losing cornerback Richard Sherman, safety cam chancellor and defensive end Cliff Avril to injuries. More 40 things we learned in Week 13 of the 2017 NFL season More NFL playoff picture after Week 13 games It feels good to make a lot of people look like they don't know what they're talking about, to make them look very uneducated, very dumb. For us to come out here and put up that type of performance, it felt really good, linebacker KJ Wright said. We just watched the teams that they played, and we knew none of them were like the Seahawks. We knew that they hadn't faced anything like us, and we took advantage of it. Seattle made its offensive statement first, jumping to a 100 leading in the first quarter after an 11-yard touchdown pass from Wilson to tight end Jimmy Graham. That seemed to stun an Eagles team that hadn't allowed a first-quarter touchdown all year, and hadn't trailed by more than 10 points since a Week 2 loss to Kansas City. The cover zero call from Schwartz that the Seahawks had been expecting came in the second quarter, and Wilson made the Eagles pay for it with a 47-yard pass to Baldwin deep down the left sideline. The initial call of a touchdown was overturned and Baldwin was ruled out of bounds at the one-yard line, but Wilson threw a touchdown two plays later, this time to Tyler Lockett. You don't have time to think. You just have to react and play football. In those moments, I think that's when we're at our best, Baldwin said. Russell doesn't have to think, he knows where the ball is going. Receivers, we don't have to think, we know our roots. We don't have time to make anything up. We just get the ball out and execute. The Seattle defense, meanwhile, showed it is adapting to life without Sherman on injured reserve with a torn Achilles tendon and Chancellor out for the season with a neck injury in one of its most dominant performances of the season against an Eagles offense that had been averaging a league bus 31.9 points per game. Though the Seahawks allowed 425 total yards, they held Philadelphia to a season-low scoring output, in part by forcing Wentz into the type of errors he has rarely made all season. 
Defensive tackle Sheldon Richardson stripped the ball from Wentz's arms on a quarterback sneak inside the two-yard line in the second quarter, and the ball ricocheted up in the air and out of the end zone for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter, with the Eagles trailing by 14 points and Wentz trying to lead a rally, cornerback Byron Maxwell held in an interception in the end zone. The Eagles drove into Seahawks territory six times in the first three quarters but managed just three points before finally scoring the lone touchdown early in the fourth quarter to cut Seattle's lead to 17-10. We were tired of people sleeping on us, tired of people doubting us. We understand that we had huge losses but we have a lot of dogs in this room still, linebacker Bobby Wagner said. And that starts with Wilson. After Wentz's touchdown pass to Nelson Aguilar, Wilson and the Seahawks' offense immediately responded with a touchdown drive of their own. Seattle converted both of its third downs on that drive, including a lateral from Wilson to running back Mike Davis that went for 23 total yards, 6 from Wilson and 17 from Davis. Tonight was pretty special. Against a really good football team, we played lights out. Wilson said. You can't play much better than how we played tonight, and that's because of the work ethic that we have. December does matter, and that's what championship teams do. Follow Lindsay H. Jones on Twitter at Belindsay Hones. Photos Best of NFL Week 13